after a mastectomy, there's a fine balance between being relatively stationary and moving your body. Some degree of resting is important for recovery, but too much of it and you'll likely feel it somewhere in your body. Let's take a look at four positions that you can cycle throughout the day just to change things up. Hi, I'm Erica. I'm a breast cancer thriver and a chiropractor. If you haven't watched the video for positions with sleep after your mastectomy, I'll link that video in the description below. I purposely didn't include a resting position where you're lying on your back. Since you're spending so much time on your back sleeping already, it's good to try to use some other positions to change things up. If you do find yourself resting a lot on your back, just try to change up the location for some variety. So maybe sometimes you would be lying on your back on the couch and then another time you would be on the floor lying on your back with your feet up on the couch. Let's get into the four positions. The first one is sitting. Some people find it more comfortable to have a small pillow in the low back area. Some variations with sitting would be to change the angle that you're reclined back. When you are reclined a little bit more rather than just straight up and down, it does take some of that pressure off of the back so you can try that out. For me, sitting got old pretty quick. Before my double mastectomy, I told myself I'm going to chill. I'm not going to do much for a couple days at least. And I made it two days. My mid back and low back were so sore from not moving around because I'm usually quite active that I said, that's it. It's time to start moving my body. I started back to walking and doing workouts modified of course. I did find that moving around at home in terms of different positions did help to reduce some of that tension. The second position is standing. This isn't a position you want to do for hours on end but it is another position that you can use for variety. You could stand up at your kitchen counter or a dresser or even a regular table with some sort of books or bins stacked on top of it. Some of you may already have a stand-up desk at home, so you could also use that. In this position, you could be on your phone or tablet or just reading a book. The third position is lying on your stomach, but not completely, and perched on your elbows. This is a position that you won't be able to do right after surgery. I waited until I was three weeks after my double mastectomy to try this out. To make this easier and more comfortable, I grabbed three pillows and then just placed them under my stomach so they would be right at the level below where my tissue expanders were. If you had flat closure, you would still wanna place those pillows in the same location just to avoid any pressure on your incisions. This position was a game changer for me in terms of reducing some low back pain that I was having. I found that there was also an improvement in the tension in my mid back area when I started using this position. I hope it's just as helpful for you. You'll need to ensure this position is pain free and doesn't tug at your incisions at all. In this position, it's pretty comfortable to watch TV or you could be on your phone or tablet. I usually have my iPad resting on another pillow in front, just so it's on an angle and not flat where I would be tilting my head to look down at it. So it's just a better position for your neck. When we're sitting, our backs are usually flexed forward a bit generally. So when you're perched up on your elbows, it actually puts your back in more of an extended position, which is the opposite to sitting. So it's a really nice change. Because I found this position so comfortable, I continued to use it for many months after my mastectomy and reconstruction surgery and I still actually use it now which is two years out from that initial double mastectomy. The only difference now is that instead of stacking three pillows under my stomach area I just use one. If you'd like more tips and self-care tools after your mastectomy consider hitting that subscribe button down below. The fourth position is pacing. So this is not a static position like all the other ones but you'll notice that if you stand in one position for a really long time, that can get uncomfortable too. Pacing or basically slowly walking back and forth at home could be done if you were talking on the phone or listening to a podcast. If you're doing the pacing in between some of those static positions like I covered before, this can be really helpful. Remember, there's no perfect position for your body, but rather moving through a variety of different positions is the most ideal. Let me know in the comments below what other positions you found useful. 
Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.